Autofocus is brought to you by Olivier's Miami. Finally, a private social club with you in mind. I'm Tony Lassane, a filmmaker, and I'm blessed with the opportunity to test drive some of the coolest cars in the world coming to showrooms near you. Now, I love cars, but you don't have to love cars to love this show. So welcome to Autofocus. In this edition of Autofocus, you get a sneak peek of the 2014 Corvette Stingray. You see this beautiful, sexy Corvette Stingray right here. This is the uh, 2014 model. It looks like it can fly. Who says you can't mix business and pleasure? So we are at work, we're gonna take one for the team. It's gonna be a tough, tough thing to do, but we're gonna do it for you. And now my favorite part and yours, strapping up, pulling out into the streets, and test driving down the streets of Miami Beach on a perfect day to do what we love to do best. We're going through a bumpy road right now here on South Beach, but you don't get beat up in this car like you did in the old version of the Stingray. The ride is much smoother, much more comfortable, and it has a lot more of a luxurious feel to the drop. Now you can't be on South Beach in a drop top without taking the top off. It's pretty simple. And it's correct to say Stingray. It is correct to say Stingray. It's the first time we use Stingray since about the uh, mid-1970s. What do you guys do to make this smooth, uh, smooth results? Well, a couple of things. Um, one of the main things was the aluminum frame we're now using on the um, Stingray. Uh, we found that the um, aluminum allowed us to make the car 57% stiffer than the previous generation. And um, so what we also added was um, a driver mode selection. So it allows the car to basically adjust to how you want to drive. You tell it you want to be in sport, it'll tighten up the um, suspension, give you a little more reaction in the steering. Uh, if you want to be touring, you know, just driving down the highway, doing some nice cruising, you can put it in the touring mode, and it'll loosen up a little bit and give you a softer ride. So a lot of it's ba based on the input that the driver is giving the car and telling it what to do. It starts at 455 horsepower if you get our optional um, it's performing exhaust, it'll go up to 460. Well, the um, car starts at $52,000. Um, we offer what we call a uh, Z51 performance package. It gives you uh, bigger wheels, a spoiler in the back, a dry sump oil system for the engine, and that'll add about $3,000. You, if you put everything into the car, it's right around $70,000. I feel pity for you having to work with this car every day. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's having a rough time with his job, you know? We, we, we get it. What's it like working with this car? You know, the amazing thing is the passion behind the car. You know, there are people within GM that just have a great love affair for this car. There's people outside of GM, customers around the world that just love the car and they follow every movement of the car. Believe me, I, I, I hear all the time. And it's great to be involved with a nameplate that's been around for 60 years. It's our oldest car nameplate out there. I mean, in the entire industry, there's really very few cars that make it to 60. Right. And to be able to give this, you know, the seventh generation of the, of the Corvette such a, a launching pad, it's just just makes you just swell up and, and, and with so much pride. You should be. You know, the old Stingray had that bubble back as it sweeps towards the rear. But it's there. Well, yeah, the inspiration, it definitely comes from those early 60s Stingrays, you know, right back from the 63 Stingray. And you can see that in the car. You can see it not only in the car, but then if you look at the, at the hood, you can see that as well. And it's just exciting to um, be able to use the Stingray name again. Is it true that the Stingray was created to compete um, with the Ferraris and the others of the world on the on the Grand Prix and various sort of circuits? Oh, definitely. You know, we think we got the world's best sports car. We raced on the American Le Mans series, and our current point standing, uh, we're beating the Porsches, the Ferraris, the uh, BMWs out there. So we take on the world's best, and um, a lot of times we win. Uh, we've had John Fitzpatrick, the poor soul that has to work <laughs> with the Corvette, uh, and thank you a lot. Hey, thanks for joining us on Autofocus on LMG TV. Be sure to catch the next edition.